Welcome to part eight. So we've gone through all the technical mumbo jumbo and there is much, much more to it. Uh, and as you go, you will learn it all and all these pieces to this puzzle will fall together uh, in a very systematic way. And it's just gonna make sense uh, how to do this. But the challenge to a lot of people is you've got to fit all this information, I mean, all these forms, all these forms, and there's stacks and stacks and stacks more forms. How do I learn all of this? How do I put all the pieces to puzzle together? And then how do I sell this to somebody? My goodness, what a daunting task. Not really. It happens with you directing the conversation. Here's a typical scenario. I'll give you several typical scenarios. Um, and everyone has their own style of sales. Charles is really good at this, and Josh is good at that, and I'm good at the other, and and, and, and everyone's got their own style, but there's some basic principles that will lead you from, we just met somebody, they don't know if they wanna use our service or not, they don't even know what our service is yet, all the way to, hey, they've used our service, they're happy, they're on our Facebook page recommending us to their friends, uh, they may tip you cash, uh, you know, lots of great things happen once we do this relationship properly. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. So oftentimes people will pull up to our location and say, uh, you know, what do you guys do or how do you charge or how are you different than the DMV or, or whatever the question may be. The question doesn't really make any difference what it is. We let them know absolutely whatever you need, we can take care of you. Spin around so that you're not blocking traffic and let's have a chat for a second. And then I start asking questions. See, customers want to ask a lot of questions because they want to get the information they want and get out of there so they can make a decision immediately. But they're making decisions oftentimes without getting all the information. So it's important for us that we dictate the conversation in a respectful way. Here's one way to do that. How much do you charge? Well, that's a great question. It all depends on what we're doing for you and how fast you want us to do it. So let me ask you a few questions so I can get you the right answer. Now, was that so hard? Absolutely not, that's very, very easy to do. So, customer pulls up, how much do you charge? You know what, our service fees are all dependent upon how fast you want our service and exactly what service you want. We have a lot of different things that we do here. So let me ask you a few questions. Do you have a new purchase, a renewal, or are you transferring from another state? Uh, I, I got a new purchase. Awesome. Did it come from a dealership or a private party? I got it from a dealership. Sweet. Was it a Nevada dealer or out-of-state dealer? See, these questions I'm asking are leading me down the road so I can figure out what type of transaction it is. See, they don't know any of this stuff. The DMV doesn't even know any of this stuff. I made all this up years and years and years ago so that we could have a systematic approach to making these sales in this type of business. So here goes. Once I figured out what type of transaction they have, then I can tell them, oh okay, so you bought a car from a Nevada dealer, that's called a DRS or a dealer's report of sale. The service fee for us doing that ranges anywhere from $79 up to $249 and the difference is just how fast you want it done. We have same day service meaning got to have it right now all the way down to 10 day service. I've got plenty of time don't worry about it. Where are you? Are you due right now? Yeah I got to have it today. Wonderful. Are you paying cash or credit? Uh, was there a difference? Yeah I can give you a $20 discount on any of the services if you're paying cash. Whoa, that's awesome. People love to save money. Now, how much it is for same-day service depends on what time of day it is. So, for example, if you can see this, uh, where is it? Right here, same-day service received after 4 is 219 cash, after 3 is 189, after 2 is 169, after noon is 149. If it's before noon, it's only $139 cash price. So if they come at 1150 and they're paying cash, it's only 139 bucks. But you told them at the beginning, the truth is, it could be as much as 79 all the way up to 249. 
But now we just came down to 139 because that's the service they need. So for the service you need today, I can do it for 139 bucks. How does that sound? Let's get it going. Well, they're either going to say, yes, let's do it, or they're going to say, oh, man, that's, that's way out of my price range. I, I, can't, uh, I can't afford that. Well, that's when you do what's called the turn. You say, you know what? Let me grab my supervisor. He might be able to make you a discount. I'm just the whatever your job is, and uh, my, my supervisor can make you a discount. I don't know. And you're, you're, you're absolutely welcome to offer anyone a $10 discount if they'll go like our Facebook page and leave a comment on it. Most people do it right then and there. So if you're not able to book the job, you turn that job to somebody who's been there longer than you. Now, nobody's been there longer than me, and sometimes I can't book a job, so I will turn it to somebody else, and I'll say, well, let me grab the supervisor. Now, they don't need to know that I'm his supervisor. I'm just saying he is a supervisor. Let me see what he can do. This way, I still have credibility because I didn't just ask you for $139, and then I dropped my pants down to 50 bucks or whatever we end up deciding is a good price for them. Okay, so there's all kinds of ways to do that, and we charge for everything we do, which gives us negotiating power. So if the same person says, um, "Hey, I've got to have uh, my car registered uh, today, and I have a title transfer," well, a title transfer, we charge a fee for that, anywhere from if you can see my finger, from thirty-nine to uh, fifty-nine dollars for transferring a title. Well. That gives us negotiating power. Now, most people hear the prices, and they're completely fine with it, and we're good to go. If not, we can discount whatever we need to to get the job. So uh, I'm going to go over one more thing that we sell. We actually have a sister company called Security Screw Specialists. And a big problem in Las Vegas is people steal license plates. And you don't want to know what they do with them. I'll have a whole other video about that. But these are what are known as security screws. So these screws can be installed on anyone's vehicle, and they can't be stolen unless the person has that tool. And that's a very, very unusual tool. So we're going to do several sales videos, but that was just a basic, how do you get to what it is they need, and then where do you go from there? And then if you can't get the sale done, what do you do? You turn it. You never let anybody just drive away. You say, hold on one second. Let me grab Charles, Fred, Sam, whoever, and they might be able to do you a better deal than I'm able to do. So that's Sales 101. That's just the very basics. We'll have a lot more videos on this. Take care. We'll see you in the next